Can you please state your name for the record? First name, D's. Last name, <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> this is a very serious thing. Um, Annie Beckett. Leo Estacado. Leonardo Estacado. Alex Baker. Alex Baker. Yeah. And where were you the night of April 6th? Do we even need this much? How many people are coming? Uh, just everyone. What do you mean, everyone? Well, I kind of just invited everyone on my Snapchat, so... So that's like a thousand people? Potentially, yeah. A thousand people, yeah. Potentially. You're such an idiot. Just part of my charm. Can I borrow your card? I want to see if my fake ID works. So you purchased the alcohol? Yep. And how old are you? 17. You need to be 18 to purchase alcohol. Yeah, that's what I said. You said 17. No, I'm pretty sure I said 18. So you're 18? Yeah, I'm 17. 18? Yeah, that's what I said! Oh, fuck it. How much have we got to tidy your kitchen before it's ready? Uh, my mum left her science shower again. So put that away and I think we're good. I know I've asked you a million times, but are you... Yes, I'm okay to take care of the place. Thanks. As a responsible person who doesn't drink, it only makes sense. I probably wouldn't even drink that much anyway. You say that every time. Yeah, and I mean it. Some of the time. Of course you do. Well, I am getting shit-faced tonight. Understandable. Very understandable. Drink it all up. And just come to find one of us, okay? If you're not feeling good. In terms of drinking, you know. Yeah, thanks. Wait. If you've put it on your story, then does that mean... No, uh... I don't think he follows me. We're good. Okay. We're good. party was at your house? Yep, that's right. And you say you invited everyone? Um, more or less. Wait, that's a good point. Why am I here taking this quiz and no one else is? Because you were the one who told us the location of the body. Um, uh, don't think I remember that. Do you remember who the body was? Don't think I remember that either. Who was that? I'm not going to tell you that. Come on! Not just yet. I've got some shots. I don't drink. Yeah, I know, I said I've got myself some shots. Why don't you drink? That's none of your fucking business. No, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good actually. Yeah? I figured out the keys to life, Alex. What's that? Don't think about it. Drink about it? Oh, very smart. You know, it rhymes because it's true. Is that a fact? Yeah, it is actually, because I haven't thought about it in ages. Would that still be the case if you were here? He's not going to be here. He's right over there. What do you know about Jacob Hayes? Jakey? If that's what you call Jacob Hayes. I'd have to answer that. Jakey and Annie were going out for a while, but then he cheated, so she ended it about a week ago. Someone said they saw Jakey with another girl, and that news got kind of spread around until it made its way to me. It's whatever. No, I don't have to answer that. Once I heard that, I knew I had to end things. So you believe that he cheated on you? I believe he told me. Jake took the breakup pretty hard, you know, especially since Annie didn't tell him why she ended it. So, he got fucking wasted. I barely know anything about the guy, right? All I know is that he was... He was very drunk.
That's really great. So, Jakey, we've been told that you had quite a lot to drink last night. What do you remember about the party? Not much. I mean, like you said, I had a lot to drink. <laughs> so the whole night's just a bit of a blur. <laughs> Big old blur. Well, let's wind this back to last week and your breakup. You haven't been taking it well. <laughs> well, no one takes a breakup well. I guess that's why I got so drunk. I don't even know what I did. Did seeing Annie last night make you angry at all? No, no. Hey, is this like a therapy session or something? I don't think I've been told why I'm here. An individual was murdered last night and we're investigating possible suspects. What? So someone was murdered last night at the party? Yes. Oh my god. Who was it? The body was identified as Sarah Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Hey, Sarah's here! This bitch. Sorry for calling you a bitch, by the way. There's pizza through there in the kitchen. What's your poison? Sorry? Ah, got some beer. That's good. Like I said, pies through there in the kitchen. Yep. Oh, great, now Sarah's here too. I don't have a problem with Sarah, she did the right thing. Better watch out. What? Over there, it's your biggest fan. I don't know who that is. Now Max Murphy, he's one shady fucker. That guy? He scares me. I heard he swallows his own toothpaste to assert dominance over the sink. Max is tough as shit. We used to play football together when we were younger. He used to just pick up the ball and throw it at people. You can't do that, but people were too scared to tell him not to. This is when we were 10. That's Sarah Miller, man. You haven't noticed her like staring at you every day? Never seen her before in my life. You must have. She's always following you around. Never seen her. Alright, whatever. Up, 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 up. You should be up. Look, gotta move on from Annie at some point. One week. It's been one week. And I have moved on. I have moved on. Oh, on. Making smart choices, man. You know it. Does it make you feel any better? Not even a little bit, no. It's alright. It's fine, you'll get there. What did you mean by move on from Annie? You're not going to get it back off she dumped you that recently. What's your suggestion? Look, right. You've got an adoring fan right over there and plenty more throughout the whole school. Your point? I think you know my point. I don't know. You know. You'll look at me like I do, but I really don't. Alright, no, fuck it. I'm gonna go see the peach right sometimes. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Max Murphy. Did you have any interactions with Sarah Miller last night? Oh, wouldn't you like to know, huh? Well, yes. Max and I, we've been friends for years. <laughs> I've known him since we were kids. <laughs> Some of the few people was not scared of him. He's a big softy, really. You think you know fame? Look at this. This scar. You want to know how I got it? Cut myself on a bagel. Not, not cut in the bagel, on the actual bagel itself. That seems almost impossible. Yeah, for a lesser man, maybe. But that's not me. So you ain't getting shit out of me, officer. Tell that to Sarah Millie, you stupid fuck. Um, uh, can I have another one? I can't wait to drink that. Big old softy. Did you spend most of the night with Max? <sighs> yeah, probably. I vaguely remember him trying to get me to talk to some girl at some point. Do you remember who the girl was? Nope. Okay, so that's useless. All I'm saying is, you know, getting a rebound might be good for you. Wait, the last thing I need right now is a rebound. Hey, Sarah! 
man. My friend Jakey over here, he really likes you, so why don't you, uh, come on, like, talk to him. Just ignore him, please, do not be a dick. He says he wants to kiss you on the lips. Stop, man. You're making her uncomfortable. She's getting dragged away anyway. There goes your chance. She doesn't have to be a dick to her like that. Why do you care so much? You like her? Look, Sarah, I'm gonna need you to explain this whole cheating thing because I'm not convinced. What do you mean? We all know you like JP, right? Uh, I don't, don't deny it, it's obvious. So I'm just saying it's a bit suspicious that you're the one who told Annie about him cheating. Do you think I was lying about that? I don't know, you tell me. I saw what I saw. Okay, see, I just want to make sure that Annie over there isn't heartbroken just because somebody else wanted to turn with her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. That would make me a little bit fucking pissed. So I hope you're saying that you weren't lying. So you threatened Sarah? Oh, boo who I threatened Sarah. Fucking killed her too. Oh my god. So we have a confession. No, no, I didn't actually kill her. Well, then why did you say that? It was a joke. Why would you make a joke like that? I was being sarcastic. You're a suspect in a murder investigation and you decided to confess as a joke. Well, I didn't think it'd take it seriously. I'm just saying, I know you think you're slick, pinning this on Clarissa, and you might have fooled some people with that move. It was a smart move, but you're not fooling me. I think you're full of shit. It was Sarah who told you about the cheating. Yep. Were you friends with Sarah before? I mean, we were never that close. We had a couple classes together, but we were close enough for me to feel like I could trust her about something like this. And who's Clarissa? Oh! I don't have to answer that. Clarissa's a bitch! You wanna know about Clarissa now, pup? I just bring her in, arsehole. She fucking loves talking about herself. She'll probably hand you a business card as she walks in. Clarissa Hoffman. Thanks. So what's this about? We just have a few questions about the party at Leo Astacalo's house last night. You were there, weren't you? I made an appearance. What the fuck is she doing here? I didn't know she followed me either. Oh god, now they're both here. I'm really sorry, Annie. See, this is why you make a list of people you like. Can I just go up to your bathroom for a bit? I need some air. Yeah, sure, sure. Hey! Oi! Come with me, I don't want to be alone right now. Fine, yeah. I can't deal with Clarissa right now, man. She's gonna try and touch my hair, and I don't want her to touch my hair, and I can't deal with that. Okay, okay, right, right. Just stand up. Hi. Can you distract her? What? I'm gonna sneak away. Can you distract her so she doesn't see me? Uh, uh. Okay, right, fine. You better go now, she's coming. Thank you. Thank you. The fuck do you want? Jakey, the fuck do you want? Why are we looking for Jakey? Well, me and Jakey, my kind of thing. You're a thing? Yeah, I mean, we're not together yet, but we will be. What makes you so sure of that? Well, I heard that Annie and Jakey's relationship ended because Jakey had feelings for me. Feelings? That's all? Mm-hmm. Annie thought Jakey cheated with Clarissa? Fuck no! He never cheated with anyone, let alone her. He fucking hates her! Oh, I fucking hate her! I'm sure it won't be too long before we make it official. Did you ever see Sarah Miller as competition for Jakey? Who's Sarah Miller? Sarah Miller is the girl who we believe was murdered last night. Oh, the dead girl. The deceased, yes. What's that got to do with me and Jakey? You were a suspect in this investigation. I'm sorry, what? You were a suspect in this- No, I heard you! I'm just not sure I understand. We think it's possible that you might have murdered Sarah Miller. That's... no, that's ridiculous. You think I could have killed this poor, irrelevant girl? I'm not a murderer. I'm a respectable young woman. <sighs> Look, I know what you want. 
Maybe that would change your mind. I'm not going to take a bribe, Miss Hoffman. Okay. How about now? <sighs> All right, fine. Look, what if I gave you this bag of nuts? I can't let you into the garden. I really need to go outside. Look, if you're going to be sick, use the bathroom. It's over there, but I'm supposed to be looking after the house and I can't have someone yakking on the grass. I'm not going to yak anywhere. I'm just trying to escape from Clarissa. Why? Things are going well between you two? I don't know what you mean by that. I just can't deal with her right now. I promise I'm not going to throw up. I just want to go outside and sit down for a bit. I would take your word for it, but you don't seem to be the most trustworthy anymore, Jakey. Oh, okay, well, how about if I vomit, you can punch me in the face. Can I do that anyway? N no, only if I vomit. Sure, fine, but I am holding you to that. Look, either you know where he is or you don't. Well, I'm thinking about whether I do or not. How can you not know if you know? Because I'm thinking oh, about it. Oh, well, if you're so clever, why don't you go find him yourself? Oh, well, no, 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 he's, he's, um, he's in the bathroom, throwing up. Is he okay? Yeah, 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 he just ate a load of, um, raw eggs. He ate a load of raw eggs? Yeah, 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 you know, like that fella from the Disney movie. Gaston. Is that a threat? Max, can you go check on Jake, please? I've let him outside and just, like, collapse on the ground. Hey. Jakey, Jakey are, you... are you okay? <sighs> Fuck's sake. Jakey, what are you doing down there, man? Come on, go. Where's Annie? Annie? What does he want Annie for? I don't want to talk to Annie. Alex, do you know where she is? She's not going to want to talk to him. Can you just go get her, please? No, what the fuck? No, don't go get Annie. Alex. Alex. Okay, well, now I don't know what to do. Get Annie. She doesn't want to see him. Alex, please. Fine. Fine. Where are you going? Seeing Jakey at the party wasn't particularly easy. That kind of sucked on its own. And then I realised Clarissa was going to be there and I was going to have to see them together, which I didn't want to do. So I just went up to the balcony to clear my head and get some fresh air. Did you go by yourself? She asked me to go with her because she didn't want to be sat up there alone. So we just went up there and we smelled. And what? Nothing. Legal things. Nothing. Oh! God, it stinks of weed up here. That would be on the account of all the weed we've been smoking. For God's sake, Leo. It was to make Addy feel better. And it's working! Look her now. I feel much better. Much better. And to be blunt with you, Alex, that's a weed joke, <laughs> I got that. <laughs> this is working better than anything I've tried tonight. I haven't thought about him in several minutes. Okay, well, I hate to have to do this to you, but I've got bad news. Oh, no. For me? Yes, for you. Oh. What is it? Jakey wants to see you. Oh. I, 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 don't, I don't know if I can do that. What, what do you want? To see you. He collapsed on the ground and all he said is he wants to see you. I don't know why. Yep, he's down there. What do you want to do? What's wrong? It's completely fucked. Jakey! Jakey, what's wrong? Is he conscious? I don't know. Do I... do I need to be here? Well, he kept asking for you, but now he's sort of... Yeah, he's passed out. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go back in then. Why did you even come down? What? I said, why did you come down? He asked for me. Why did you even come down? It's not like you have anything to do with him anymore. 
Marissa, come on. I just asked her a question. Oh, I, I don't know. It's weird that he even asked for you. Maybe he just wanted to see how much better off he was without you. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Excuse me? You were never good enough for him. Shut up! What? Just because I'm right? You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know anything about me and him. I know that your relationship was fragile enough to break just like that. Okay, that's enough, Chris. To stop now. Fine, fine. I mean, it seems like you guys all have this figured out anyway. So, yeah, good luck. and I went nowhere near each other. I don't know who told you there was a fight. They were going at each other, slamming into walls, punches were being thrown, Clarissa slapped her with a bit of pizza. It was wild. <laughs> you should have been there. Should I? When a fight like that breaks out, everyone's going to be standing around watching. No one's going to notice the girls, you know, clap and die on the floor. It's just not as interesting. Sarah? Sarah, come on, you can't, you can't sleep here, Sarah. What's going on? She's passed out. Oh, too much to drink. Most likely. Well, have you tried waking her up? Yes, of course I tried waking her up. That's the first thing I tried. And it didn't work? Well, we should probably move her somewhere else then. What's going on? She's, she's passed, passed out. out. Oh, bloody hell. We think it's because she's had too much to drink. Can we just leave her there then? Exactly. No, no, we can't just leave her here. She's right in the middle of the floor and he's like... Like, put on a sofa or something? Yeah, put on a sofa, that's what I said. Hey, uh, what's going on? She She's passed part. out. Yeah, she probably couldn't handle seeing how much competition she had. Who is that? So you guys, like, all talking shit about me now or something? Oh my god, no! We're talking about her. What's wrong with her? She's, She's passed, passed out. out! Oh, well I can probably sort that if you need one... <laughs> She has got to be the heaviest sleeper I've ever slept. Is that blood coming from Ellen now? Oh, that's a bit dramatic. <laughs> she looks very still. Does, does anyone know where the pulse would be? Yeah, everyone just left by themselves normally. It wasn't weird. Um, it just got to that time where people, you know, would have to leave. So they left, normally. Pie's over, I need everyone out. Pie's over. Come on. What, what happened? Oh, don't, don't worry, there's just a dead body in the kitchen. Everyone out. Get home safe, just need everyone out. Everyone except you, 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 and you. Why do we have to stay? My parents are going to be home in a few hours and they're gonna be so pissed if they find a dead body in the kitchen, let alone if they found out I threw a party. So, let's get in there and let's get rid of this body. You've got to be joking. I am not. Listen, you're all involved in this now. I get that there's a little tension between some of you, not to, you know, point fingers or name names, but if we can just move past that, we'll get this done so much quicker if we work together as a team. Work together? Yes. All six of us disposing this body as a team. 
Why don't we call the police? Because then my parents will still find out. This is the only thing for it. Yes. Can I not? No. Come on, guys. We can do this. Let's get in there and let's dispose of this body as a team. What the fuck? Why have you sent the party after most of the other guests left? I don't have to answer that. Miss Baker, your refusal to cooperate is not helping your case. I have the right to remain silent, you know? Yes, yes you do. Okay, so what's the problem? Well, you were the only sober person there last night. The only person with a clear memory, and yet you seemingly have the most to hide. Staying silent doesn't make me guilty. And if you truly are innocent, why refuse to give valuable information to the police? Why choose to slow down the progress of this investigation? Alright then. Here's what I know. Sarah Miller died. I don't know how, no one here knows how, and I know that because I was with them at the time. And, as you said, I have a clear memory of last night. The people you're questioning are the people who found the body. Nothing more. Nothing more? Yeah. So you found the body in that state? What do you mean? You found Sarah's body, covered with a blanket, and with foliage and beans in her hair. I don't have to answer that. She looks a lot more dead up close. Well, yeah, but we don't have the proper equipment. So we can't get rid of it now. Great! Oh, my parents are going to be so annoyed with me. Maybe, maybe we don't get rid of the body, but we get rid of the blame. How? Now, the first part of staging a suicide is a weapon. Luckily, I've got that part covered. Do you just carry that thing around with you at all times. Pay attention. Now, if I put this in her hands and reposition her arm, it looks like she's used it on herself. See? This is ridiculous. Now, Leo, is there anything in your house that vaguely resembles brains? That's a big question. I don't think I've ever thought about that before. Anything at all that, you know, sort of look like someone's head splattered across the floor? Mm. I might have some beans. Suicide, and now our problem is solved. You're welcome. Max? Yep. What the fuck is this? What? You realise that if somebody were to come in here, they would instantly realise that that is a Nerf gun, and those are beans. Ah, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Really? So now what? We just get caught and blamed for murder. Bin! We put her in the bin. That's a no-go, man. It's really small. No, no, the, the big bin outside, and then the bin man will come along and he'll do his little bin man thing, and then no one will ever know that body was even here. That's good! That could work! Well, let's do that then. Wait! Wait! Let's, let's not throw away just yet. I mean, this was a human being. A human being has, has died here today. She brought me out of life, and a family, and maybe even some friends. We should treat her with more respect. So I propose a toast. A toast to... Sarah. Sarah! To Sarah! Gone too soon. All right, let's throw it in. I just don't understand why I'm here. I mean, I hate murder. I would never murder someone. What even makes you think it's murder in the first place? Well, we can't say for certain until we receive the post mortem report. The evidence we have points to murder. How so? 
When the police arrived at the house, there was a recently deceased corpse and six drunk individuals who had knowledge of said corpse. It seemed suspicious that the six of you would stay after everyone else had left and not report the body. That and the body had clearly been tampered with. Tampered with? Uh, who would tamper with the dead body? Oh, this is so disgusting. We're literally carrying a corpse. This is so gross. I realise that. Can you just get the lid and I'll put her in? What are you doing? That's the recycling. Is that not the bin you meant? No! We'll put her in the garden waste. This is so disgusting. Can you shut up? Another guy in here. Some recycling. Right. Thanks. I liked your speech, by the way. About Sarah. Who? The speech you gave on the table. It was nice. Oh, yeah, that. Thank you. What happened with us? Let's not talk about that right now, Cheeky. Why not? Because we're both drunk. And I'll get angry and I'll end up saying something I regret when I'm sober. Okay, well... Can we at least talk about it at some point? I don't even know what there is to talk about anymore. Alright? We've got enough going on with this whole dead body shit. We don't need this as well. Yeah, that makes sense. So how's Clarissa? Clarissa? Yep. Well, didn't seem like you were holding back in that fight. But I don't think she took any serious injuries. Unless the damaged ego counts. Right, right. I need a new hat, What's that? What's that? I need you to lift the sofa so I get the broken glass out from under it. Yeah, fine. Okay. I don't think she fits. She fits, all right. Clarissa just didn't shut the lid hard enough. Um, don't try and put the blame on me. You're the one who just shoved her in there. What else was I meant to do? I don't know, maybe contort her body a bit so she'd actually fit. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. I'll just, I'll just like break all of her bones so she fits better. Please don't do that. Look at me, I'm Max. I'm so smart and I only passed chemistry because I sold heroin to the teacher. That was six years ago, you... Bollock. Why'd you have to be such a dick, Max? Why can't you close a lid? I can close a lid. I'm incredible at closing lids. Incredible? That's subpar at best. Fine. Well, then I'm not helping you get rid of this dead body. Fine. 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 Nothing about this is fine. Why is she back in here? She wouldn't fit the bin. And it has to be fine. Because if not, then we're fucked. Well, we've spent a lot of time getting nowhere, so unless we think of something soon, I think we are fucked. We're really running low on time, too. We could chuck her over the neighbour's fence. Can I pick which neighbour? We're not doing that. What if she was just asleep? Oh. She's dead, Annie. We've established this. Yeah, but no one else has to know that. So what if we just pretended she was asleep, and then that's what people you're going to do it regardless of what I say, aren't you? What are you doing? We're getting bedding! Wouldn't it make more sense to bring her to the bed than to bring the bed to her? We haven't got time for that! This is good. This is good, right? She looks like she's sleeping. I won't lie, Leo, this looks a bit strange. What are you going to tell your parents there's just a random girl asleep on their kitchen floor? At least they won't mind that as much as a dead body or a party. Love them. Maybe I'll leave car. I don't think that's your parents, Leo. You probably, you probably shouldn't. Ah, shit. This is getting nowhere.
Even if any of you did know anything, you were clearly all too drunk to remember. There's a corpse in the kitchen. No, there's not. Unfortunately, the information gathered here has proved inconclusive. However, we may call upon you again for more questions if we find any new leads, and we ask that you contact us if any more of your memories come back. Wait, don't! Stop! Please! Get my phone! For now, I'm going to dismiss you. You're free to go. Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you for the time. It was nice to meet you, and I hope you solve this case soon. Thank you, Mr. Osako. I, um, you yeah. know? Oh, okay then. Yep. Do I just go out the way I came in? Yes, that's the, uh, the only door. Okay. I just wanted the record to show that my name actually is these nuts. Uh, yeah. Nothing useful at all. Well, the only new information I have is a bunch of teenage drama, so, no. Not a shame. Do you happen to know a good hangover cure? About fucking time. I've been telling you all along I had nothing to do with it. Pig. I'm, I'm really sorry, I, I don't know why I keep doing that. I... So, I'm no longer a suspect. For now, that is the case. I thought the case was murder. You can just leave, Miss Hoffman, please. So I'm free to go? Yes, you're free to go. Okay. What do we tell them? The truth, I guess. Are you fucking joking? Don't tell them the truth. How do you think that will look? Yeah, don't tell them that. That's what I said. Not that I remember that much anyway. Well, I knew lucky. Yeah, well, that's the perks of drinking. We just had to stuff a corpse in the bin. So, yeah. How, how did the police find out about the body anyway? Yeah, I swear we were the only ones that knew. Um, I think I might have told someone on the way out. You fucking idiot, Leon! Yeah, well, I didn't think they would call the police. Yeah, yeah, well, rookie mistake. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Uh, we've been arrested, so just go back to sleep. Alright. Did you, um, did you all enjoy the party, though? Somebody fucking died. Yeah, I mean, other than that. I think all of it cut up with the death aspect. I get that, but, you know, I put a lot of effort into the party, and I just wanted it to be a good time for everyone, you know? Apart from the whole corpse thing, it was pretty cool. Yeah, uh, thanks, Leo. Thanks, Leo! Yeah, cheers, man. Annie Becker, we're ready for you. If you can come through, please. Can you please state your name for the record? 